Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio for, you know, another Kerbal Space Program. This time it's from my career mode. And as it's titled, we're going to walk through how Kerbals can gain experience in career mode, which is a career mode specific feature. And uh, experience is really important for Kerbals. So um, there you see a basic uh, design of my vehicle. I'm not going over it in detail. You can slow down the video if you like and kind of see what engines and parts and decouplers and st stages, etc. that I'm using for this design. But basically this is a, a rocket vehicle that can go uh, from the surface of Kerbin to the surface of the Mun, refuel, go to Minimus, refuel, leave Minimus, uh, leave the sphere of influence of Kerbin briefly, and then get back to Kerbin. So it's got plenty of Delta V to do all of those things. Uh, it's actually very overkill um, for, for what it needs to do. And, um, and in career mode, you're, you're typically mindful of cost. So uh, this is, again, more, more Delta V and more... Uh, fuel that I need, but I just kind of wanted to show you, for, for the, those of you that are beginners and maybe don't uh, know how to accomplish all three of those tasks in one flight, that's the kind of rocket that could do it. So uh, I've got a huge uh, crew quarters in this one. You can see that big, um, I think it's Heats 24, I forget the name of uh, of the port, but uh, it's not a small command module, it's a, a big uh, passenger module. And it is a passenger module, I don't believe having any pilots in there helps you control the vehicle. You need a probe core or a pilot on a separate module in order to do that. But anyway, here you see me coming into the MUN. I'm going to kind of briefly talk about um, what I'm doing as it's happening on the screen, but also want to talk about experience in general. So in career mode, the Kerbals all start at a level zero with no experience, and they get experience by doing different things, and they'll need it depending on their, uh, their class, their uh, profession, in order to do their profession a little better or to just be better carbonats in general. So uh, let me pause and talk about the footage here. You see me landing on the moon. One of the features of gaining experience is if uh, one Kerbal carbonat ex uh, gains experience, all the carbonats in physics range who are landed or splashed down will also gain that same experience. So I'm not certain if that includes Kerbals, carbonats any vehicle, so I always just stand next to the uh, the Kerbal that I'm gonna uh, gain experience with. So I, I probably don't need to take all these Kerbinauts out of the rocket. I can probably do uh, the task with just one, but there you see me planting the flag. So let me talk briefly then about uh, how you gain experience. So there's a, a pretty neat uh, chart on the wiki that you can go and look at, but basically you can get experience by uh, flying on a planet with an atmosphere like Kerbin, uh, Eve, um, the Duna. You can also get experience by um, flying by the planet or the celestial body. Like, so it counts with a, a moon as well, obviously. I mentioned uh, none of the moons have uh, atmospheres, but you know, Gilly, the moon, Minimus, in this case, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the moon. Obviously, you can get experience from all the celestial bodies. So uh, flying by them, orbiting them, you get additional experience. Uh, landing on them you get experience and the best one is planting a flag which I think is just a silly <laughs> way to gain experience I'm, I'm physically on the surface but I don't get a lot of experience unless I actually plant a flag um, so anyway that's that's the whole point of the mission is to plant flags on the moon and on Minmus so the way experience works on a single celestial body even though you can get a little experience by flying by orbiting by landing you only get the maximum amount of experience based on the, the, the highest level activity that you did. So because I planted the flag, I don't keep <clears throat> the couple points I got for landing, for, uh, for orbiting, for any of those other aspects. You get the most points for planting the flag, so that's the points you get. So um, the goal with this mission, I'm not trying to max out my level of all these Kerbonauts. I'm actually just trying to get to level three. So... Most of the functionality of their professions um, tends to peak at level three. So for instance, a pilot at any level can use a parachute, which is great, but a scientist and an engineer, well, there you see a crappy landing, so let me try that again. An engineer or scientist needs to be at least level one. Well, you can, you can become level one on Kerbin, but uh, they need to be level one to use a parachute. That's a neat function. Um, at um, higher levels for pilots, at uh, up to level three, 
their flight abilities improve. So it, they can set maneuver nodes. Um, they can provide SAS without direct uh, connection back to the curb net. They can they can basically fly better, and that skill maxes out at level three at experience level three. So you don't you don't get any benefit by getting a level four or five pilot. Scientists, they research faster with each level. So a level three scientist is going to research um, in the mobile processing lab much faster than a level two, one, or zero. And then engineers at level two, they can repack parachutes, they can repair landing legs, they can do things like that. Um, and they also provide higher efficiency for um, processing ore. I'm not sure if it's the drill or if it's the, uh, the converter, but you, know, you basically want to have a higher level uh, engineer and I'm not sure if it taps out at a certain level if it's a two or three like the pilot but rule of thumb at, at level three you get most of the benefit for your professions so there you see me planning the flag on Minmus and I'm also setting up for my photo op for the video and um, so by now if I were to go back to the Kerbal Space Center with these Kerbonauts they would gain all the experience that they've uh, just earned you don't actually realize the experience until you get back to Kerbin so right now they're still mostly level zero or level, uh, you know, some, in some cases, level one and two Kerbinauts. Uh, none of the Kerbinauts in this video have been to the moon, uh, Minmus, and outside the sphere of influence of Kerbin. Some of them have done other things, like I might have rescued them on other planets, or other moons, but none of them have done these three things. So that's also why I brought all of these particular Kerbinauts along for the ride. So there you just see my refueling, how it works. And um, the last bit, I mentioned planning two flags. The reason I need to leave the sphere of influence of Kerbin is I'm going to get it. I'm going to get credit for um, for orbiting Kerbal, which is the name of the sun. So uh, I'm going to get two points for orbiting Kerbin. I'm going to get three points for uh, orbiting the moon. You technically don't need to land on the moon, but I did in this video. You can get to level three with your Kerbinauts just by orbiting the moon. You don't even need to plant the flag, but I'm going to go ahead and plant the flag because I'm, I'm there. I might as well get, a, get the extra XP. You get six points for planting the flag on Minmus. And if you just briefly escape Kerbin's SOI, which you just saw me do, you're going to get six more points. So that's going to get us up to the uh, 16 points needed to uh, get to level three with all of these Kerbinauts. So I'm going to land back on Kerbin and let all these uh, Kerbals graduate to level three. And... Uh, that's it in a nutshell. That's what I, I do a lot in the uh, career mode because I got a lot of Kerbals in my uh, my fleet, my arsenal, because I do a lot of rescue missions. And I just like having Kerbals because you need them to, to do things and I tend to leave things out in space for long periods of time. So those Kerbals just sit out on missions for years and years and years. But if you uh, got something out of this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I love uh, responding to comments. That's how I can interact with everyone. And um, that's about it for this video. Appreciate you tuning in, and I will see you next time.